Okay, so you're thinking about or you're going to the Nick Hotel in Riviera Maya, Mexico. This is everything you need to know about the all-inclusive restaurants. All right, let's talk about restaurants. The Nick Resort has six main restaurants. Three buffets, one being a breakfast buffet, one being a lunch buffet that's only at the Aquanick, and one a dinner buffet. The dinner buffet is a little strange because it's only open certain days of the week, so you're gonna wanna check your app or check with the front desk on if the Yacht Club is actually open that day or not. The only buffets that are actually always open is La Spatula for breakfast and the Nick Bistro at Aquanick. There's two sit-down dinners, and then there's also one of the dinners, which is Piazza Tavolo, that you have to have a reservation. I highly recommend making that reservation as soon as you check in, although you'll see in a little bit why you might not want to make that reservation. And lastly, Bikini Bottom is only open for lunch and closes at 6 p.m., which was kind of weird. We actually never were able to eat there because of the time that they closed. If it sounds confusing, that's because it kind of is. So you want to make sure you stay on the app, stay up to date at the front desk on what's available that day for food. There's also room service available around the clock, whether it be breakfast, lunch, or dinner. There are only certain items available at certain times from the room service menu. The only thing about the room service is that while it's not bad, it does take about 45 minutes to an hour to actually get to your room. So you just want to make sure that you plan accordingly for things like that. But the food isn't terrible, but I would definitely suggest going to one of the buffets or one of the sit-down restaurants over the room service. After all that information, you're probably feeling like Caveman SpongeBob, and I understand. So let's go to the first buffet. The first buffet we're going to go to is at the Aquanick, which is the Nick Bistro Buffet. This is a lunch buffet that overlooks the Aquanick. It's actually one of the better buffets on property, I felt. It's got a really cool patio. Let's take a look inside. Now, I do walk the entire buffet so that you guys can see everything that it has to offer, but all I will say is when you see the taco maker, that is gonna be my favorite thing that I got from this buffet. They have chicken tacos, beef tacos, steak tacos, and pork tacos, and they make them fresh for you right there at the buffet. Oh, go ahead. They have a bunch of sauces, a bunch of different ceviches. You will start to see a pattern at all the buffets, pretty much. They all have like a salad area. They all have a sweets area. I mean, for the most part, they're fairly different in what they have to offer. Obviously, the breakfast buffet is all breakfast stuff, but between this one and the dinner buffet, uh, there's a lot of differences in what you'll see. Moving along, this is the Piazza Tavola. This is the restaurant where you have to make a reservation. So make sure you do that when you check in, like I said earlier in the video. Now, surprisingly enough, this was our worst dinner experience uh, while we were at the Nickelodeon Resort. We just were not impressed. The atmosphere is really cool. It's obviously a pizza spot, so Ninja Turtles are everywhere. But the entrees just did not deliver. It was a very interesting take on Italian food, that's for sure. Not to mention the restaurant wasn't that busy and the service was really, really bad compared to everything else we had received while we were staying there. My wife got the eggplant, which was different. I got a Parmesan crusted chicken, which I thought would be a chicken parm, but I apparently I read the menu wrong. They also have a very interesting take on a traditional caprese salad. Rather than having sliced tomatoes, they give you fourths of tomatoes with the mozzarella and the pesto. My kids got spaghetti and meatballs, and we also ordered pizza. The pizza was okay. It was a little bit wet. All in all, we have to give it a big two thumbs down. Oh brother, this guy stinks! One place that certainly does not sink, and that is the breakfast buffet, La Spatula. This is easily the highlight buffet of the entire property, and we made sure to go there every single morning. This place pretty much features anything and everything you could want for breakfast, whether it be fruit, pastries, fresh-made omelets, pancakes, French toast. You can order espresso with your server. They have all different types of fresh juices. They'll make you fresh smoothies. They have vegetable drinks that you can get in the morning that are like a cleanse, which was one of my wife's favorites. Traditional Spanish dishes, all kinds of stuff. And it is super, super good. Everything is made fresh. I highly suggest getting there the earlier, the better. Because as I said earlier in the video, the transports in the morning can get a little tricky, whether it be they're not running or they're all full because everybody's trying to come down to breakfast. Finally, let's go to the Yacht Club Dinner Buffet. Now this is the dinner buffet that is strangely not open every day and it's not even open on consecutive days. It seems to be random, so be sure to check 
your phone app or call the front desk, like I said, to make sure that this place is open. This place is really cool. It's a really nice buffet. You do have a really good view of the ocean. That's a nice big glass window right there that overlooks the beach and things like that. It's got some different things on the menu that you won't see anywhere else. It's got like sushi grade level meat, which is really, really good. That was probably one of my favorite things. They do have the taco maker from the Nick Bistro, but oddly enough, they do not offer the same amount of toppings that they offer at the Nick Bistro. So that was a little strange. They have barbecue ribs, uh, they have a fresh crepes maker, which was great for the kids. And then a bunch of the stuff that you've seen at all the buffets. They have the charcuterie area, they have the salad area. Just a quick tour of the Bikini Bottom Bar. We actually didn't get to eat here because it closes at 6 every day and we usually ate lunch at either the Nick Bistro or we ordered room service. This place looks pretty good though, it's cool, it's right in between the middle of the pool that's outside. The menu is pretty much all tacos and stuff like that, but sadly, once again, we were never able to eat here. Next up is the last of the sit-down restaurants. That's gonna be Good Burger. It features all kinds of cool stuff. It's a pretty good place. Got all kinds of nuances to the movies and the show. Quotes all over the place. It's a pretty big restaurant too. All in all, it's, it's really, it's, it's actually, uh, no pun intended, pretty good. Like I said earlier, they bring you a sampler. It's got french fries, onion rings, sweet potato fries. Really good. Next, you're going to see the lobster macaroni and cheese, which was an interesting texture of lobster. If you've had lobster mac before, it's worth a try. Right here, we have uh, some of the different shrimp offerings. And then my wife and I ordered the sampler platter of the burgers, which is basically the full-size burgers, but in slider form. Some of them are more traditional. Some of them have like an Italian twist on of them. Some of them just your standard bacon, some with macaroni and cheese. All in all, it's pretty good. This is the dessert truck that I was talking about where you can just walk up and order ice cream and then there's toppings and things like that. It also just has candy if you want to just grab some candy. Also, your kids can come down here from their rooms at any time and order ice cream. You do not have to be eating at Good Burger to just walk in and grab ice cream from the ice cream truck. And that's pretty much Good Burger in a nutshell. It's, uh, it's not bad at all. Like I said, the burgers are good, the french fries and all the condiments are really, really good. So it's a, it's a decent spot to go to if you're looking for a little bit of a change. The best thing to remember while you're eating there that I can suggest is remember that this is all inclusive. You can order as much as you want. If you want two burgers, go ahead. If you want fries and sweet potato fries, just order it. If you want all the appetizers, order all the appetizers. You paid a lot of money to be here. So please feel free to take full advantage just like I did. If you like this video, be sure to watch our full tour of the Nickelodeon Resort on our page right now. Mm -hmm.